What is up, YouTube Fragrance family and friends? I hope this video catches you having an awesome day, and I'm really happy that you stopped by today. Today is kind of a continuation of yesterday's video. Yesterday, if you didn't check it out, I'll leave a link above me here. I did my top 10 best new releases of 2021, and today we're kind of carrying that vision or thought forward into best in class, my top 10 best in class new fragrance releases designer edition of 2021. So when we come back, we're gonna go over these 10 fragrances, that and more is coming up, so stay tuned. Welcome back everyone, and welcome to my top 10 best in class new designer releases of 2021. Today we're gonna be focusing on an additional 10 fragrances that are new releases of 2021 because we had so many, and I kinda wanted to highlight very simply, very shortly, get to the gooey center of what's best about the fragrance itself. What that basically means is the first thing that you notice about the fragrance or the biggest Thing that you notice about it. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Similarly to yesterday's video, this is going to be a top 10. So we're starting with 10 and counting on down to the number one best in class new designer release of 2021. Coming in at number 10 is a fragrance from Salvatore Ferragamo. It is Ferragamo Intense Leather. Now this was somewhat of a quiet, kind of a surprise release. This is kind of sort of based on the OG flagship fragrance for Salvatore Ferragamo, which is a very nice, but it's a very light leather scent. So whether people were complaining about that being super light or not, not sure if that's the reason this came into existence, this takes best in class of best new leather. Salvatore Ferragamo's Intense Leather. It's a really nice fresh take on leather scents, but it does have that medicinal, stronger leather vibe going on in the dry down, so you might really enjoy this one. Salvatore Ferragamo coming in at number 10, Best New Leather. Coming in at number nine, and not really surprising anyone, is Best Dressed Flanker with Cool Water Parfum. What I mean by best dress flanker, this is kind of a refined, more dressier version of the cool water that you're used to. It still keeps its versatility, it's still a really nice scent, but it's a little bit more upscale, and for cool water, that's a pretty big deal. Best dress flanker, cool water parfum. Coming in at my number eight is a fragrance from Jean-Paul Gaultier. It takes best in class of best new pillar fragrance, but also worst stopper. That is Scandal Pour Homme, a really nice gourmand cool weather fragrance. And if you do like that Lamal DNA with a little bit of toffee on top, a little bit of caramel, you'll really like Scandal Pour Homme. Best in class for best pillar fragrance, but again, worst stopper with that crown. Coming in at number seven in my top 10 best in class is best surprise quality in a fragrance is Tommy Hilfiger's Impact Intense. Impact Intense is a little bit darker, a little bit more resinous of an oriental fragrance that we're used to, coming from the t-shirt and blue jeans company that brought OG freshies to the table like Tommy, so it's really nice to see them going into a little bit darker, cold weather territory with Impact Intense. Again, coming in at best surprise value, Tommy Hilfiger Impact Intense. Coming in at my number six as best eventual value in a fragrance, yet the worst name, is Lalique White and Black. Now this one a lot of people compare to Parfum de Marly's Leighton, and while I can definitely see you know, where that comes from, it definitely stands on its own as a very spicy oriental fougere for cool weather. Worst name, I don't know why they would call it white and black, they could have come up with something a lot more creative, but this is going to be the best eventual value because Lalique definitely drops their prices quite a bit over time, and while you can't get this at a fantastic deal right now, Give it a good six months or so, and you'll see it at discounters for a really good price. Best in class for best eventual value, Lalique White in Black. Coming in at my number five is a fragrance that's taking best in class of most misaligned, yet also most versatile and best presentation. That is Ralph Lauren's Ralph's Club. I really like the fact that it looks like an old timey flask, and it's a super bright, fresh, lavender, vetiver, green scent. I get great performance on my skin. And again, gotta love that old timey flask. So best presentation, most misaligned, and most versatile, Ralph's Club. Down to my top four fragrances in best in class of new designer releases of 2021. Coming in at number four is most watered down fragrance, Prada Luna Rosa Ocean. But that's not a negative, that is a positive. Taking that Prada Lunarosa DNA and turning it into an aquatic fragrance is somewhat of a feat, considering that it's a nice dry aldehydic 
uh, Sauvage like fragrance with carbon and then with black. Prada Luna Rosa Ocean also takes home a trophy with doing the best job of keeping up with its predecessors. At the end of the day, it's really tough keeping up with Prada Luna Rosa Black and Carbon, which are epic scents. So a lot of people had expectations that were maybe unrealistic for Ocean, but again, at the end of the day, it's a really nice aquatic take on the Luna Rosa DNA. Coming in at number four. Prada Luna Rosa Ocean. Coming in at number three and taking home the award best in class for slightest variation on the theme is Aqua de Jo Profundo Lights. Profundo is a great version of Aqua de Jo. In many cases, people like that better than any of the other Aqua de Jo fragrances or flankers. This one also takes home the trophy of best use of pink pepper. That really fresh pink pepper are the lights in this Profundo version, and I really enjoy just how fresh it brings that aquatic driftwood flavor home. Number three in this top 10 list, Aqua de Jo Profundo Lights. Now there's only two spots left, so coming in at number two and taking home the cake for most realistic citrus fragrance of the year is Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue Forever. Now this has appeared in lists before, but I did want to give it kind of a kudos for now focus before when I talked about this being the most realistic grapefruit fragrance that you'll ever smell. That open is just so epic. I think it deserves its own spot. So best in class 2021 designer fragrance light blue forever for most realistic citrus if you like grapefruit you're gonna love light blue forever all right guys we're down to our number one fragrance in my best in class 2021 designer fragrances new releases and I can guarantee you, you probably not even guess what this fragrance is. Because if you watch my first impressions of it, I was not impressed. In fact, I was downright, I don't like this fragrance. But I'm the kind of fragrance reviewer that if a fragrance over time shows some backbone and gives me reason to change my opinion, I definitely don't mind telling you about it and letting you know what its true value is, is based on. My number one fragrance out of this top 10 best in class is taking home the award for most risky designer DNA of the year and also most previously misunderstood by me. It is a Bulgari man fragrance. It is Ture Essence. When I first tried it out, I don't know if there was something bad in the actual atomizer that uh, I had to spray out to get it out of the way to get to the actual good juice. But the first maybe 10 sprays of this fragrance was not good at all. It smelled like the chemical version of milk going bad. But that's no longer the case. I've given this plenty of wear to know that it is an epic scent. And it's epically different. And it really makes me respect even more Alberto Maria, who is the perfumer of this fragrance. Because he makes so many different fragrances. And it would be so easy to fall into that everything kind of smells similar or the same. This one does not smell like any of his other creations. Rich, earthy, lightly dry scent that is unlike other designer scents that you smelled out there, although you can compare this to some of them, similar to Vince Camuto's Terra, but it's just richer than that. It's so much better, and I really enjoy this fragrance, and it's got surprising elasticity to its performance. So coming in at my number one fragrance for best in class of 2021 and new releases, designer fragrances, Bulgari Man Ture Essence. I want to give a brief shout out to some other new releases that I didn't get a lot of hang time with. XX Indigo by Jean Varvedos takes home the Better Than Ultra Blue by Mont Blanc award. Issey Miyake's Fusion to See Extreme takes the more fusionier award home. Jean-Paul Gaultier's Lamal on board takes home the more relevant and fresher than Lamal award. Bentley Momentum Unbreakable takes home the most modern mineralic fragrance of the year. Bad Boy Superstar takes home the slightly fresher than its predecessor award. And finally taking home the award of the best reinvention of an OG scent is Ralph Lauren's Polo Cologne Intense. Really nice green oriented scent. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed for the past couple of days taking a look back on some of the new releases of 2021 so that we can kind of reappreciate the faces of and the value of these fragrances. If you've got any experience with any of these, please let me know in the comments below and tell me what the favorite facets that you have enjoyed about these and which those are. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out today's video though. And as always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense and I'll see you tomorrow.